Okay, looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and take out that race. All right, Kyle's gonna take over this part. He's gonna help us talk about what the vision for this project is. And John, maybe you can help pitch in too. You know, normally we'll say, we'll say, all right, product owner and product sponsor, what, what were we, what's your vision for this project? What's your, if you had to give an elevator pitch, what would it be? Why do you want this? And we try and stay away from features, you know. Well, I want it, I want it to be red, you know, that's, that's nice. But we try and say, you know, Kind of big picture. Uh, and Kyle's, yeah, right up. In the end, we want our objective to um, fit some criteria here. I'll let, I'll let Kyle take over for now. Oh, well, uh, yeah, no, right. <laughs> I was hoping you'd talk a little bit longer. Okay, thank you, talking. <laughs> so, John, uh, <laughs> 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 uh, just kidding. So, I think I screwed something up here. So our objective is generally uh, about 25 words or less. It's kind of like a run-on sentence or a big user story, like an epic story. And we want to keep it, in the end, we want it to be smart. So we want it to be specific um, and not wander around. We kind of use concise language. Uh, we want to know when it's done. So it should be clear enough that we could say, it's measurable, yeah, okay. Looking at that objective and looking at what you deliver to us, yeah, it meets the objective of the project. I always screw up the A and R, so I have a note for it. Um, let's see, so let's see, this one's achievable. I'm gonna misspell, guys, so please just shout out, like from, don't let me look yeah. stupid continuing. Uh, yeah, Relevant. That was my yeah. That's the one I always keep up. Yeah. Is it is it pie in the sky or is it achievable? Is it you know or is the goal you know something like, you can't say I want a hundred thousand people to be using this in six months. You know that's just not going to be achievable. But if you have something measurable and you do uh, want to include in the goal, then that's great. Is it relevant? Um, does it does the whole if, does it fit together correctly, like, you know, if you're looking at the objective, it's not describing two or three different things. Is it, you know, relevant to just the, the one topic you're talking about? Is it relevant to the business that you're well, yeah. in, you know? Yeah, is having a Facebook presence relevant to the, you know, whatever business app we're talking about? Maybe it's not even relevant. You just think it's cool. Or having, a, I want it to be a mobile app. Was well, that really relevant to what we're really trying to do? Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Finally, time bound, we always like to try and say, well, you know, what are your expectations of when do you need this? A lot of times, that's the way I have. I've got a conference in September and I, I have to have it for that rollout. So it's good to talk about you know, when they expect to have it too. Plus it helps us limit the features. If, they, if the expectation is we can get this done in three months and the feature set they give us is a year's worth, then we, we can have that conversation right away. Say, so, well, you know, that's great, but for three months, this is all we can do. Has anybody ever been a part of a project where um, you've been working on building an application or doing an install or something, and you found out halfway through the project that the people who are in the project have a different understanding of what that project is for? Does that ever happen to anybody? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that is a common problem. And a lot of times, we're not talking about black and white differences. There's some. <laughs> Um, there's a misunderstanding about how much will be delivered and by when. That's really common. Uh, there's a misunderstanding about um, why we're doing something. And that is really important because, as you can imagine, the project sponsor, sponsor may have a different reason for why we're doing something than um, you know, a, a frontline employee has. So it's important to kind of come up with that. I was just checking our time. So we're at Good. 30. Yep. Okay. So I want to start defining yeah, the objective. The objective is actually uh, oftentimes where things on the agenda start to get out of hand um, because we're brainstorming and brainstorming sessions can go around and they can get heated. This is a lot of times where a lot of conflict arises. So thinking about the product that we're going to build, it's a website to what? To manage I user use groups. Use. Yep. Okay. So I want you guys to brainstorm some, some ideas here. So I'm, I'm going to just start with kind of a um, project sponsor idea here. Uh, a website uh, to manage 
user groups. To manage our user, let's say we're going to manage our user group. It's ours. And that's even more specific because is it something that multiple user groups could use or is it something that's just for one user group? Yeah. Already we're making a more specific. Yeah, one set of customers versus a whole, a whole ton of people. Framework. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. framework. It's the website to manage our user group. Okay, Here's, that's what your project sponsor is going to give you. Oh, and uh, um, by uh, June 2015, that's what your project sponsor is going to give you. All right, we've got time bound. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, $10,000 a budget. Okay? That's awesome when they'll tell you the budget. A lot of times they don't trust you enough if it's your first relationship. They, well, if I tell them $10,000, they are going to say it's cost $10,000. So, project sponsor comes in, he says, look, here's what I want out of this thing. I want to be able to manage our user groups when we're done. Uh, and I want to get it done. It's got to be done by 20, June 2015, because then our new, uh, our new fiscal year starts. I want it done before the end of the fiscal year. And look, I've only got 10 grand for it. So the question, guys, I've got for you, team, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time bound? Well, as far as relevant goes, um, I think we're going to have to kind of assume that we need the user group at this point. But maybe that's something that we don't even, maybe that's up for debate. Uh, we're a .NET user group, so we'd like to have a user group website. So uh, assuming we're a .NET user group, or .NET company, we want to uh, have a user group, I want it by June 2015 with $10,000. Any problems with that? Are we off and going? Specific enough. Okay. What can we do to make it more specific? What do you mean by website? Are you considering mobile devices? Are you considering desktop? Uh, Are you considering cloud? Okay. What else? Find what manages. Okay. And what do you want to manage about them? Um, what users can do? What are they going to do? What do you want to manage? Okay. Is it testable? Oh. Hmm. Let me ask you. If we define it this way, will it be testable in the end? And what make, what's going to make it testable? I'm not, that may be an interesting, I wonder if that almost starts to get down into a user story level, but we'll, let's explore that a little bit more. What else? Anything that we can do to make it more specific? Who's your audience? Is it the user group members themselves? Is it the sponsors of the user group? Is it... Okay. Is there anything special about your user groups? Let's see, so elaborate on that for me, please. Well, I mean, a lot of people host things in a different way. Are you hosting them all locally? Or are there other venues involved? What's the handoff process? Handoff process. Elaborate on that. Um, like once the project goes to the maintenance phase, like do they continue to support it or just hand it off to the support team? Okay, let's start exploring some of this stuff here. Um, I'm just going to write a story about that one because that handoff process that might be um, that might be a little bit lower level than, a, than an objective, but we'll see. So let's start. Let's start with this one since I threw this one in there already and it's already up there. What is management? Hey, I didn't spell. Me. Nobody told me I didn't spell manager right, guys. Come on. When you write on the board, you got to be pretty, uh, you know, pretty comfortable with your board spelling. What does manage mean? So, can somebody, you know, you're thinking about a website to manage user groups, or even a conference like this, because maybe if you if you don't have a lot of context for user groups, think about registering for this conference, because there's a lot of similarities. Um, what do we what do we need to manage? What does that mean? Each user contacts. So user user specific information. Registration kind of stuff. Avatar registration. Okay. Communication. 
All right, let's. Yeah, I think some of those ideas I think are good for you know. Do we need an avatar for registration? Do we need to know the address? That's starting to get a little bit lower level. Hold on to those ideas because we're going to want to use them. Um, okay, so user registration. I thought I heard some other. It's document repository. Uh, okay. Documentation store. Calendar of events. Docs. Calendar. Okay. Privileges. So, can you explain more about what you mean there? Just uh, what they can access and what they can't access. Okay. So, security or yeah, maybe privileges and access security. levels. Yeah. Uh, you you had to do that to me. Privileges. Access. They, must have, they, they installed it. The basketball team must do a lot of stuff here. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, <agree>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't use the title. <laughs> okay. Anything else? What does this manage mean? <coughs> yeah. Well, that's. I mean, I. I could tell you guys, but I don't really want to do that. I want you guys to come up. Product owner, you got anything you want to add in there? User group. What does manage mean? Hey, what would you be managing? That's like uh, imagine the means. Sort of thing like the stuff that would tie into the calendar, so it's like the upcoming events. The events, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's probably a better way to do that, isn't it? Um yeah. Yeah. events, participants, venues. Yeah, so this may be participants here. That may be a better word. See, now I'm starting to just make real scribble lines so you guys can't tell me that. <laughs> um, if you have a bulletin board, you probably need to maybe censor, control, moderate. Moderate. Moderate, moderate yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, some of these may be getting down into that feature level again, but that's very throw much there. Yeah. Moderation. Yeah, that's sort of an access level decision. If it's yeah, maybe. So now, as a sponsor, one of the things I'm thinking about is why. What are you guys missing? We need to have sponsorship of our users group. We can't just pay for it all ourselves. We're going to need sponsors, right? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I'm going to go back to, I don't understand what it is that, that's the problem. I don't, I mean, I see a solution being pitched and I would expect the product owner or the sponsor to have Maybe you guys already solved it before coming up and saying we need a website to manage the user group, but what's the problem you're trying to avoid or solve with this ten thousand dollars spent? That's a great that's a great question. And a lot of times your sponsor isn't gonna come in with that. They're not gonna come in and tell you what the problem is. They've already dreamed up the solution. Yes. Um, <laughs> so that's a fantastic question. Mm -hmm. So the problem is we have an organization that hosts user groups right now. And we're using Excel files and Word docs, um, and we have this. Um, you know, we use um, you know Meetup, but we're not happy with it. And so we want to have more control over the scheduling of those events, the management of the participants, uh, the management of the sponsors, and uh, maybe even venues and things like that. And the reason I ask is because a lot of this stuff is, is blossoming into a huge amount of scope that you might not be able to accomplish with 10,000 or whatever, you know, when that we get to that. But if you have eye on the prize of maybe there's a few things you're doing now that are already working mm -hmm. and doable and you only need to solve half the problem that you think you do. So that's why I asked. So you're thinking ahead. Don't think ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the, by the way, the, the, the process here, not just the process of defining the objective, but the entirety of the process is all about that. Yep. It's all about doing the simplest possible thing, which is one of the 12 key principles, and my favorite, personally, yep. in the Agile <coughs> manifesto yeah, and, and, and principles. So, and what I've done is I've purposely allowed this to blossom out because now I'm going to start kind of reining it back in a little bit. So, um, so when we talk about OS, so let's get a little bit more specific now. I'm going to do a new version of this. A um, user <coughs> group website. I'm just going to throw something up there. You guys can feel free. Anybody who wants to write up here, come on up here. <laughs> Anybody who wants to throw in some comments, let me. Um, 
you know, throw them out there to manage. I did it again. <coughs> it's all about mange. <laughs> Can we have all our user groups me? Participants, sponsors. Um, events. What am I missing up there that, that I really need to? It's just kind of a cat, general category. Topics? File docs, files, whatever. Okay. Topics maybe could go under. Meditations. What if I just do communication? Communication. communication. That's good. That's good. Version two. This was V1. This is V2. What's wrong with it? Still don't fully realize to manage. You now know what you're managing, but not how you're managing it. What if I change the word? Is there another word besides manage that I should be using? Bueller. Coordinate? Organize? Would that be better? Administer. Administer? What do we think? You like that better? I'm just brainstorming. I'm looking for help. <laughs> I'm drowning over here. Cards <laughs> much. Is it really manage or is it give that function? of the use group itself. Facilitate. Yeah. Facilitate is a good word. Facilitate. Okay, so how does that then fit into what we've got here? If we replace manage, we think manage is bad. Your user group website to facilitate participants, sponsors, events, communications in a secure accessible format? I'll see manage, manage to me implies that that user group is already Oh, like the user group is just a user system. group system from scratch. More an active passive side, are you just providing information and and letting people see things, events, and making that secure? Yeah, I, I think I have this word execute. You know, if, if I read this, a user group website to facilitate execution of a user group or a website to facilitate execution of user group meetings or participant sponsors, communications, events in a secure accessible format. Is that, is that good for you guys? Do I need to write it again? Facilitate. Yeah, I don't know if the execution is a good word, but you don't need to get too hung up on it. And oftentimes we just get this objective started, we come back to it, we tweak it, but the audience of this objective is, is really just the people in the room. It's, you know, it guides the developers, it guides the um, product owner, it helps us if we get into that loop of um, you know, iterating and trying to like, figure out what kind of features <coughs> during the project, it helps refocus us and guide us back to get on track. So it's not it's not something like it's a mission statement or a vision statement that we're going to put up on the website. It's really just kind of a guide for the developers and the customer team to help keep them in line and keep them focused, and keep them in balance. 
I guess the question is at this level, how deep in the weeds do you get? Because I mean, well, I can I can really jump yep. into secure. I can really yep. jump into accessible. Yep. We want twenty five words. Yeah, so not very deep. it's yeah, it's it's kind of you know, it's a it's an objective, guys. It's not a it's not a specification. It's an objective. Um, it's it's to give everyone a common understanding of what we're trying to achieve. Uh, and so you want to avoid words that are going to be misleading. I think manage is a great a great example of that because I think there were a lot of different ideas in the room about what manage means. And I think this, you know, when we talk about facilitating the execution of user group meetings, that's a lot more specific than manage, right? Yeah. Does everybody have a pretty good understanding of what we're trying to accomplish at this point? Mm -hmm. So are we done? We dropped the time. Ah, okay. And I would like to say, someone mentioned now, um, like, being mobile ready, and I'd like to maybe consider that if we're going to do it. See, I considered that under accessible. Accessible? Okay, yep. Okay. I like that. And of course, you know, all of these things, and the reason I kind of wrote them over here was because I started to feel like these are potentially user stories that we'll write as we move forward. So, you know, if somebody has a problem with it, and I write them up here just because if somebody then says, well, no, wait a minute, we need to specify in here that it's mobile because that's the most important thing to our business, then we better write it in there. So, okay, so that's our objective. So, what, what do we do with uh, that 10K that's just hanging there? What is that 10K? Yeah. Um, the reason I wrote 10K up there, does anybody believe, given their experience, that $10,000 is realistic for this? No. So nobody said it, though. Why didn't any of you say that? <laughs> Somebody did. Somebody said, I don't think for $10,000 um, I think, uh, I think then maybe you have that discussion at this point. You know, you say, well, I, I got to tell you, I don't think this is realistic. And then you can start to hash out what that dollar amount might be. Maybe he was just, you know, maybe he's saying, well, look, I can find another 40 grand if we need it. Is 50,000 realistic? You know, maybe. So. I don't, you know, it's funny. In these objectives, I almost never hear a budget. I hear schedule, but I almost never hear a budget. So. Let's go with that. You guys all okay with this? You don't all have to love it, but does anybody hate it? It's a good all start. Right. All right, that's exactly what it needs to be. All right, here's where I get out my, my favorite tool of Agile meeting success. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't take pictures of things on whiteboards, then uh, you should start as soon as possible. They go bye bye really quick. I'm gonna take a picture of you taking a picture of do you like that face? That's a good face. That was awesome. Totally confused face. <laughs> All right. I'm going to erase everything but the final That's objective. Fine. That's fine. Okay. So as to reduce confusion, you can see I wrote a lot of stuff, guys, that we didn't use. And for me, you know, when we do brainstorming on whiteboard, um, it's important to do that because it's so easy for that, that thought that somebody had to slip away and, and it's difficult to get back. <coughs> okay, Rusty's writing the objective down. Yep. Where we next? 